To introduce iPastels, I will show you how a student might use iPastels as an app smash with Book Creator to complete a project. This video will introduce you to the basic concepts of iPastels and how a student could use it with Book Creator. If a student had the assignment to create a book page to finish and illustrate the sentence, One spooky night I saw, they might want to use a drawing app such as iPastels to illustrate their sentences. Since this is a free version of iPastels, when they open the app, they might get the option to upgrade. Students should cancel out of this so that they can continue working on their canvas. Then they will see this blank canvas with many options. If you press and hold the options, a description of what the tool is or does appears. For instance, what several there are tools such as Soft Chalk Pastel, Firm Oil Pastel, Rich Oil Pastel. I can use my eraser tool, I can use a cotton swab to smudge, or I can use a finger to smudge and blend. Up here are settings, there are save options, ways to flip between proje projects that students are working on, ways to clear paintings or layers and ways to flip between the different layers that students are working on. These tools have to do with the pressure applied or maybe a brush size. And then there are all sorts of colors and then you can also switch between color sets. So for instance, students might be working on blending. So instead of going right to using expensive mediums, students can test out the concept of blending just right on their iPad. So they might choose the color red, a little yellow over it, and then they might use their finger to smudge it and blend it together. Again, instead of trying this out with an expensive oil pastel, they can try it out on their iPad first between switching to the real tools. Once a student is finished with their spooky night drawing, they can then export it to photos or camera roll to share with the teacher or smash with other apps. They do this by clicking on the save button and exporting to photos. They may get the message that they need to go into settings privacy, photos, and switch the privacy to on in order to export this to photos first. Otherwise, it should work right after the student clicks export to photos. They should be able to find this now in their photo roll. Notice I'm in my camera roll and the picture is saved there. So I went into, again, I went and found camera roll my photos and that's where my picture is saved. This is how a student might create and export a illustration to use in Book Creator. 